Hi, welcome to volume four of the Combat Sambo Tapes. My name is Tony Lopez. In this tapes, we're going to work on the Sambo arm locks, both the sport ones and the Combat Sambo arm locks. Okay, when we do the arm bars, I want to show something to, to help you with these, very important. Hey, technique is more important than muscle, though muscle obviously helps. And also, not to resist when you do these because you could get hurt. I'm going to demonstrate something with Jesse. Okay. Let's say Jesse's between my legs. Okay. I bench press about 140 pounds. He benches 450. And I want to show something. Jesse's going to put his hands on my biceps wrong, the wrong way. He's going to hold down as hard as he can, as push hard as he can. And watch this. Look, he can't hold me down. Not only can he not hold me down, and I can do a wrist lock. Okay. Again, he's going to resist. I bench 140 pounds, he benches 450. It's about 65, 70 pounds of He resists as hard as he can. Go as hard as he can. Look at this. I can move and I can do a wrist lock. Now, I want you to look at this. I'm doing this also for safety reasons. I give a lot of seminars in Sambo and I tell people don't be macho, don't use muscle because you're going to get hurt. None of them listen to me. Now, <coughs> Jesse's going to be able to get up, but he's not going to be able to get up as easy as I am. Okay, I'm going to push down. He's going to come up. Come up. Okay, he's coming up, but it's a lot harder. Now, I want Jesse to do a wrist lock. Do a wrist lock, Jesse. Even if he gets there, go ahead, do a wrist lock. He can't get it. Now, what, what's the main difference? I want you to see how Jesse, we're going to stand up. Please stand up, Jesse. Kneel, I mean, kneel in front of me. I'm sorry. Jesse's going to grab me like this. Okay, like this. He's grabbing me this way. So he's trying to hold me down with just these four fingers. When I grab him, I grab him like this. So just this thumb made all that difference. He is literally, no exaggeration, four times my strength. But I mean, I can control his arms better than I can. So technique is very important. This, this is so much more effective than this. This is so much more effective than this. Later on, we do a neck break. I'm going to show you how important the hands are. So please do technique. And also, the reason he couldn't get a wrist lock is when he went for a wrist lock, not only is it hard to do a wrist lock when your hand's like this and like this, but when he went to do it is I relaxed my hand. If you're tight, you're going to get hurt. Okay. So that over, and please be very relaxed. Please don't be macho when you do this. Just don't get on his back, please. <coughs> and I don't get on top of him. I'm going to do a basic arm bar. And again, I want to show you something very important. Jesse, get on me, please. <coughs> Jesse's going to sit on my stomach. Okay, and he's going to push down with this hand to get my arm down for an arm bar. Go. Okay, now he's going to push down with the other hand. Okay, he's going to push down with two hands. Okay, he can't. Now, <coughs> again, think technique, don't think muscle. All right. <coughs> he's a lot stronger than I am. For me, relax, please. For me to push his arm all the way down to get an arm bar is, is not going to be logical. If I get both my arms in here and put my head and put all my weight, I could bring him down. I've done it before. But while I'm doing that, I'm off balance. And it's way too much effort. He's going to hit me, poke me in the eye. So you break the arm where it is. You don't try to muscle anything. OK, I'm going to put my hand here. If I grab my hand here, just move your arm out. I can't hold him. Move your arm out. OK, so I'm going to grab this way. Remember this versus this? Remember before, Jesse grabbed my bicep like this, and he couldn't hold me down. I grabbed like this. This is so much stronger. So please think technique, not muscle. Another thing, I'm not trying to beat a dead horse, but it's very important. Jesse, please get here. Jesse, this is weaker than this. And Jesse's going to grab me like this. See how he's grabbing me with the thumb here? He's going to gra grab real tight, Jesse. Okay? Real simple. I'm going to grab here. See this is here? This way. See what I'm doing? Here, and I'm grabbing here. So I'm going over the arm and grabbing my own arm. Over the arm and grabbing my arm. Let me show him standing up so you can get an idea of it. He's grabbing here. I'm going to grab like this. Snake it through. I'm going to grab my arm here. And remember, it's not this. It's little fish hook, little fish hook. Two little fish hooks. Fish hook, 
fish hook. Fish hook, fish hook. Now, if he was to grab me like this, could I do that? No, I can't do that. If he grabs like that, I can hurt him. If he grabs like that, I can't. And let's think of this logically. <coughs> Just so it gets on top of me, please. So I know we're doing arm bars, but I'm showing you how it's important to do an arm bar correctly. Why does Jesse want to have his thumb here when he wants my arm to go down there? What good is this doing? The thumb is to pull my arm this way, right? I want to go this way. I mean, that's where I want to go. It doesn't really matter, okay? So it's very important that you go for this arm bar like this. When you do this, he can reach over, grab here, and break your wrist. Okay. Also, he's strong. I can't get my arm off. He's strong. But if I grab here, I get my arm off. See? I can get my arm free, okay? But if he grabs like this, he can't get my arm free. Okay. okay. So getting into this arm bar, it's very important you do it correctly or you're going to be wrist locked, okay? And remember, everything is related. Just like in karate or in boxing, you do combinations. Grappling is combinations too. It's non-stop. -stop. If you fight one person and you know you're alone, you know he doesn't have a buddy in the show for an hour, you can take your time. But street fights don't happen like that. You've got to finish the guy off quickly. So I'm going to grab this way. <coughs> Notice how far I go over. Okay, it's just not here because he can go this way. Here. Do this way, please. See, I'm stopping him from going this way. And if he goes this way, see my elbow's here. I'm hooking it. Okay, see how important that is? Now, <coughs> why should I force his, his arm down? I can break it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my elbow. Now, in the street, I drop it in the face. In sport or, you know, among friendly people, we just drop it here. Now, a lot of strikers says, well, I'll just bite you or poke you in the eye. I have a fourth degree in karate. If the closer the grappler is, he's going to bite you or poke you. You're not gonna, it's not going to be the other way, okay? So don't think eye poking or biting because the grappler will be able to beat you in that. When I drop it, if you are afraid, all you got to do is push the elbow here. See that? Can you bite me? You can't bite me, okay? And remember, this is coming down hard. Okay, so we're here. So instead of forcing the arm down, I'm just going to let all my weight come down. Now, I've seen people do this through the arm bar. I personally like to do the arm bar where I put one eye here and one eye here. So as I drop, I put an eye and an eye. And I push this way. Okay. Again, see this? Just drop. See, his arm didn't go anywhere. Now, I'm going to move this hand this way. Swim. Now, I can, make your arm strong, I can force his arm down. Okay? But notice I use it in my head. But I don't have to force his arm down. All I'm going to do for this, wrist, for this arm lock is I'm going to do this. This arm is here. I'm going to drop my elbow. Boom in the face in the street. Elbow here, push off. Remember, an eye goes here, an eye goes here. All right? This hand goes right through here. And it goes here. It's very important that you don't have your wrist like this. Sorry. It's very important you don't have your wrist like this. Your wrist, you want to be out with your wrist. Again, drop. Remember, he's four times stronger than I am. Hand goes in here. This wrist is going to be rolling out this way. This wrist is on top. Make your arm strong, please. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my wrist. Look how he taps. I'm just going to roll my wrist this way. And I want his arm. Make your arm relax, please. If he makes his arm relax, look. I have to put it here and go here. But if he makes, make, make your arm tight, please. If he makes his arm tight, look. So. Please, I had a lot of people in seminars get hurt. Be relaxed. Our power comes through relaxation, not through tightness. Again, his arm is here. He's very strong. Curl your hand like this. Grab your elbow. In the street, drop it here. Okay, it goes down. Push here. One eye here, one eye here. This hand swims through. Notice that this hand is going to come through like this. Okay, and then these are going to do this. Just a simple motion, okay? So we're here, here, wrist come out. Okay, now after we break it here, we're going to put his two knuckles on the mat. See his hands like this? You can break it like this, but turn his wrist this way. Turn his wrist this way. You can put your knuckles on the mat. Beginners, you can put the whole hand flat. Knuckles on the mat or hand flat. Either one works, knuckles or hand flat. Put your eyes here and roll your wrist out. 
and then after you break it there, paint the map. Paint the map. And again, in a real street fight, let's say Jesse's arm is right here. Move your head, please. That fast, okay? So again, he's here. And how do we get to this? We'll throw a punch. He goes to block. Look at this. I can still block me as hard as you can. Use two arms. Okay? See how easy? I mean, throw a punch. He goes to block. Grab here. Don't make your arm strong. Okay? I don't care about that. Just drop. Boom. Put your hand in here. Look at my wrist rotate. Okay? And again, your eyes would be here, but just see? Boom. Relax your arm. You, you, bra you break it. Break, 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 break. Go to here. Pretend this is a paintbrush and just paint the map. It's a very vicious break. Please understand it. Try to do technique because there's always someone who's stronger. There's always someone that's faster. So especially if you're small and old like I am, you want to improve your technique. So that is the first basic armbar.